You're talking to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, kiss stealing, woo, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down. Woo! We're talking about practice. Get them the hell out of here. <laughs> That's what you're doing. That's how it is. Coming in hot. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever episode of The Fool and Friends. I am your host. That sounds really weird. <laughs> I am your host. Boom Fool, capital L. And uh, I have in the house today a couple of my rotating hosts. I got Mr. How do you want to go by it? What do you want to just Chuck? Chuck Burgundy? Chuck, uh, yeah. Haunted Bacon? What was that? Is that the uh, other one? Chuck Burgundy. Chuck. All right, we got Chuck. Shout out to Chuck for being in the building. And, and, and Big Red. Big Red in the building. Big Red in the building. Can we give him a round of applause, Serge? Oh, yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll take that round of applause. Ooh. So you as like it, you uh, like it, it feels, feels good. good, right? It's real good, don't it? Um, as I mentioned a few times on uh, Blunt Sessions, I plan on doing the show for a while, so I'm finally doing it. So shout out to that happening, finally. Um, the show is going to be predominantly about discussing video games, movies, and television shows, Netflix, you know, uh, discuss, theorizing, reviews, you know, and then I'm stealing something from Blunt Sessions, but I'm calling it just bring it to the table, something we used to do. If you have something you recommend that people might not know about, we'll do that every once in a while. You know, movie, show, game, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we're going to start this off, though. Yeah, I'm Surgeon General, by the way. Uh, the guy yeah. behind the boards and the guy making all the sounds. On sound. every show. You know, sorry, sorry that he's rude. Oh, I didn't like know I had to introduce everybody you. on the show. <laughs> but that's cool. That's I how it goes. We're just going to sit in the back. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's fine. I'll just shut up. I'll mute myself. Don't okay, that's good. You do that. <laughs> So we're going to start with uh, discussing some of this E3 that dropped this week. Um, if you all know what that is, that is the uh, Electronics Entertainment Would Expo. you like some background music for this? Or are you going to go straight naked? Um, yeah, go ahead. Hand me what you got. Some okay, Final Fantasy fun. VII, maybe. Oh, yeah. you know, that's what I need to get a bunch of. Well, yeah. I don't have any of those, but you know yeah. what? Yeah. Spotify does. We're going to download. Ooh, I don't have Spotify. Spotify has like a gajillion tracks from final fantasy now they just dropped everything on there actually let me see what i got i'm gonna yeah. find something but um so we're gonna go into that because it's a big fucking deal for gamers and um you know it's it's ridiculous i i want to go one year like and maybe one day we'll be able to go you know so we're uh i want to just get it right off you mentioned it yourself actually mr big red fucking final fantasy 7 remake I don't know if you actually seen it by any chance. If it was floating around on your Facebook, I saw it, but I don't. I am right. the last person you ask about RPGs to. Right, like I, that's the one genre I do not touch. But you mentioned personally. it. You mentioned I did. it. So that's how popular it is. Somebody yeah, we, who doesn't touch it. It took over Square Enix, uh, yeah. like the whole uh, press conference they did. Yeah, it so. did. And when I tell you, it looks beautiful. Yes. Yes. That's always nice. <laughs> That's about it right there. That's about as far as my gaming MP3s go. Right. But let's see what else I can find. Fuck it. So, Chuck, did you see it? Some of it, yeah. Yeah? How are you? What are your thoughts? Like, how are you feeling about that? Well, are they doing it like uh, Final Fantasy XV? No, no. It's or is it seven. Just, it's a remake. Seven. And it's a remake of like it. The, the, the combat, is it going to be more like Final I never played XV. Okay, so is it turn-based? Mm-mm. Full on action. Okay, yeah, I want yeah. to play it. Yeah, it looks. I'll, I'll drop a hundred hours into that game probably. It looks fucking amazing. Like it the the cute. combat looks absolutely fucking insane. It does. Like, it, I suggest if if you haven't seen it, just to even just watch it, just to see the quality just of for the stick of, stick of where nostalgia. it's been to like where we're at now. Like, I watched it. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm impressed. It's one of those things where it's like I respect it. From a distance, but right? Like, I just don't get into those kind of games. Yeah, that so. one I think might bridge the gap for some people, right? Because it's it's legit like an action game. with the action shit. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely get into it because of that. Probably, yeah. like it's yeah. not like the menus. Like there is menus, but right. they don't do it to where that's all there is. Like you actually are like effectively dodging and shit. Like I think there's blocking and dodging. Okay. Like 
That's fucking dope. That's pretty fun. <laughs> so um, that shit, I I was like pretty much like I can't believe this is where we're at. Like, and I can see why it's been taking them so long to actually release it or at least um, you know throw it out there. Yeah, and they got to do it properly. You know, you can't half ass that. Yeah, no, dude, it's it's absolutely insane. So that and and for me personally, because I've been doing playing it a lot, fucking uh, Smash Brothers. Has uh, shown off the next two characters. Yeah. Fucking Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Which yeah. I was like, all right, I can see that. That makes sense. But also, basically, the hero, which is from Dragon Warrior slash Dragon Quest, okay. depending on what side of the world you're from. And, and the Duck Hunt dog. Well, he's been in it, though. But that, was the, that, that was the joke of the, of the, the reveal. Because uh, everybody was talking shit online. Like, well, if they put Banjo Kazooie in the game, it's just going to be fucking Duck Hunt. With a bear and a bird. And I was like, I guess. And that's why they did the, the, the reveal that way. Like, uh, literally, Duck that. Hunt looks like Banjo-Kazooie as a shadow. And then they fade in, and boom, he's, like, laughing, and he's jumping all over the screen. Like like Duck Hunt, you know? Right, right, yeah. Back when the dog used to pop up after you fucked up yeah. to mock you. Yeah, the most asshole dog in history. <laughs> right? I've never hated a dog. <laughs> but, but that one? That one. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't and the, petting that dog. And then basically, like, boom, Banjo Kazooie comes and knocks his ass out. Right. And uh, that was like their their reveal. But the the, the hero, it's pretty dope because they use the main character from a bunch of different uh, versions of that game as skins, I guess, or possibly differences in between like moves. So I was like pretty blown away by that. And I got to say, like, shout out to Nintendo to pretty much winning, in my opinion. They definitely won this year. Yeah. So, oh, and hey, shout out to Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that clip dude. where the dude yells at him on the yes. stage? You're breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo. He's so legit, dude. He really is. He's like, no, you're breathtaking. I'm like, fucking Keanu, man. <laughs> he's up there smiling the whole time, like right. half-assing his lines and stuff. He's just like the coolest dude, man. He's I, a national treasure. He is. <laughs> right? He's like Jeff Goldblum, in a sense. Like, right? Because fucking Jeff Goldblum is, and he's just a, apparently a genius. Yeah. Like, inherently. Like, it blows my mind. <laughs> but go ahead, Chuck. Uh, you got, uh, what are your uh, picks for E3? Like, what do you got? First one's probably uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. I'm a huge fan of the first two. Uh, mm. It looks like they're trying to make it a little bit creepier this time, a little more in-depth, which is pretty awesome. Right. Uh, of course, Super Mario Maker 2 looks badass. Uh, I already have that pre-ordered, though, so I will Yo, be picking that up. I could never get past any of those levels. Like, <laughs> I didn't even want to try it. That's well, how well, I'm thinking about the uh, infinite possibilities. Mm. You know, you can just keep adding stages, keep, you know, uh, downloading the new ones. It's ideal for any, you know, mm. for me. <laughs> right. Mm. Uh, Dying Light 2. Oh, yeah. Which uh, is much better with friends, by the way. Yeah, I've seen that. That shit looks really good. I've probably put 90 hours into the first one, and I still play it. So how do they, I never played the first one, so explain to me some of the how that works. It's basically Dead Island, but with parkour. Dead Island. Oh, okay, okay. I remember Dead Island. So it's a lot more melee-focused, less mm. guns. and. Um, oh, so you like bashing the shit out of zombies. Yes, and you can craft your own. You can add like electricity, uh, fire, some like poison. A, like a baseball bat with like electric yeah. barbed wire? Yeah, maybe not the barbed wire, but the electricity. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of dope, actually. I gotta say. So, what else? What else you got? Uh, let's see. The new Star Wars looks awesome. Yes, Fallen Order. Yo, dude. dude. And that's like that's an action based game, mm. a single player. Mm-hmm. Like they're not doing the whole. Like I, I like that man. I feel like that's something that's going away too quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'd play that for real. I don't even care about like. The character, the little... But here's droid. the thing, though. Fun fact. Did you see who that guy was, though? No, I didn't. No. The, has, did you, you ever watch any of Gotham at all? Nope. No. And I'm a Batman fan, but the I haven't show, watched it. Here's the thing, and, and I recommend you to watch it, because uh, it's... At first, you're like, are you fucking serious? Right. But then, once you're like, this like Earth, like, five or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because they got, like, what, two or three different Earths? So, fuck it, like, Earth 5. Okay. And I'm like, all right, all right, okay, I'm on board. <laughs> Let things go. Right. And you're yeah. like, all right, fuck it. And it actually turns out to be pretty good. But he actually plays the Joker on um, oh. on Gotham. Yeah, the guy's actually a pretty good actor. He was in something else, too. But, like, um, yeah. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, okay. this is weird. <laughs> right. But that really does look fucking amazing. It does, man. And I like, I like how, I think it's a... Um, 
the droid was called BD One, mm-hmm. right? He looks like a little a little at at. If you look at him, like yeah, his legs yeah, and stuff. Pretty much. I thought that was cool. <laughs> I was like, that's nice. That's neat. Because like he was, I forgot what he was doing, but he was doing something. He was like breaking their way in somewhere. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, he looked and, like, like he was I saw his leg, shit. and I'm like, oh, he looks like an at at. That's yeah. pretty cool. And the way he moved, <laughs> yes. and I was like, okay. Yeah, he's like. I mean, it's not like totally, shit. but it's like there's a it's influenced by it for sure. Mm-hmm. I thought yeah. that was cool. What about what you got? Another one? I have to mention Blair Witch. Me yeah. too. That my interest. <laughs> you saw yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take y'all to realize that's what was going on though? I I I didn't. I yeah, didn't even I didn't. see it. I even know. I, I just saw it because of a list, and I was like, oh. "That's a thing." So you actually watched it? I watched it. Yeah, let me know. I about watched. This. Uh, so yeah. So in the trailer, like apparently there were some clues like beforehand, but it was just something. I saw the little symbol mm. at some point, like barely flash, I think. Yeah. And I was thinking like Blair Witch, no, <laughs> like influence maybe. But then like when it gets to the end and the dudes, do you see the trailer? No, nah, but go ahead. I'm okay, okay, okay with this. Basically, like, this guy's going into the woods. To, I, this is how I think it was. I only watched it once. But the guy walks into this to the woods to try to, like, mm. find... I think he's trying to find the kids that got lost. Okay. And, like, he's, like, going around the woods, getting lost just like they did. And he gets to the house, and you see the... Just like at the end of Blair Witch, where you see the dude up against the wall in the corner. Mm-hmm. Uh, he sees oh, that. Oh, yeah, he's standing in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That did fuck me up. He I sees that know. again, basically, and... The camera, I think there's something with the camera, because he would put mm. the camera up and he'd be able to see that that's what was going on. When he put it back down, he didn't see that. I think there might be something to do with, like, technology, actually. Once again, I, I watched it one time, mm. but... Yeah, no, it looked, I, I was I like, But it was that. just, like, mind-blowing, like, a Blair Witch game, of all things. Yeah. Horror but, games are actually yeah, pretty why good. Why not? Give me one more, Chuck. What, what, give me another one that you uh, feel like, holy shit. Doom Eternal. Doom yes. Eternal. Yes. Did you guys play the remake? I, I never played I Doom. I'll be honest. I never played Doom. That's probably the earliest gaming memory. Yeah. It's Doom or Mario. Right yeah. here, too. Yeah. I, it's I, so metal, dude. <laughs> the new ones are so metal. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah. I've seen plenty of videos and how fucked up they are and how great it is. Like, definitely. But um, did you see any 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 red? Like, any ones that, that stood out to you that might have been like, yeah, I don't play shit, but that I would probably fuck with well i always play madden that's one game i mm. will always and i know it's not as good as 2k was i, I was a huge yeah. 2k advocate but uh i still play it just because you got to have that fix but they got some pretty cool sh- the, the biggest thing for me they didn't make it that big of a deal but the biggest thing for me was you could actually pump fake the specific receivers now mm. so you double tap like so if you want to pump fake the x like let's mm. say that they're i don't know you want to look a safety off or whatever okay and then like you you know, you want to pump fake to this guy. You just tap, you double tap X, and it pump fakes to him. And then you can go hit right the guy on the other side of the field. That's actually pretty yeah. dope. Like even somebody who doesn't before, play it, like, I would I never it. use the pump fake function because it just felt like it was just straight ahead. Mm. You know, and like barely they barely jumped to it. I feel like with that you could actually like set a play up properly. So that, that actually sounds pretty dope. I'm yeah. not even gonna lie. And I don't even play fucking Madden like they that. They have X Factor abilities, I think they called them. Mm. Where so each player is kind of like more individualized, and they have their own like strengths and weaknesses. Like mm. uh, I think Patrick Mahomes is what they were showing off, where he has like you know a bomb pat, like he could throw it like eighty yards down the field. <laughs> like <laughs> they just like <laughs> if they're like a scrambling quarterback, they can like throw on the run better and things like that. Oh, okay. Like that's actually see that's that's. That's different. It's incremental changes, right? Like they're, it's practically the same game as the year before, but like the but little. But even the little so, things. like I've never heard of shit like that in any of the the prior ones. Like that's yeah. something totally different. Then that's so I'm probably the only one. Well, but it's at least something every year. Otherwise, mm. it's, I mean, it is the same game regardless. But you right. have to add something. Yeah, yeah and that actually rosters. sounds amazing. Yeah. Like I gotta really agree there. I'm gonna see if I can. Um, I think I wrote some stuff down. Let's see if I can get get Mister Mister. Lewis here on the line. See if he's available. Let's see. Let's give him a ringy dingy. How about like Game Pass being the future? Yeah. Like the Netflix. Uh, the games, the, the video games. Stadia, the Google Stadia. Stadia, same idea. And uh, what you get it? a subscription basically. Xbox X Cloud, I think that's what they called it. The X Cloud or something. Yeah, the X Cloud, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And even Bethesda, they they showed off like that you can run these games 60 frames a second off a of cloud and things like that. Yeah. Eventually of a, fucking 4K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, all you need it's is like, a it's solid a, it's internet connection. you don't even believe when you hear it. You're like, what? Yeah. 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 Fucking all you need is a good internet connection. Yeah. 
and a controller. And there's requirements you'll have to meet. Right. That's how they're going to do it. All right, so he's probably busy with the fam. So I was trying to see if we could get him on and get a couple of uh, from That's him. That's unfortunate. That's okay. You know, he, you know he's, 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 he's a fada. You know, he's a fada. He's a fascia. He's a fascia. <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. So, That's went the New York accent. <laughs> right? It's a beautiful thing. It's a motherfucking thing. beautiful thing. Eh? So I'm going to, I got I got one more. I wish they could see that. That um, I got to I gotta say, and we talked about before we came on, was fucking Battletoads. Yes. Fucking Battletoads after years. I know, dude. Of just nothing. They're like, oh, by the way, here's a brand new fucking Battletoads game. Three player co-op. Like, That's gonna be pretty fun. Oh god, I'm fucking excited. Yeah, Battletoads is my oh man. <laughs> yeah, one of the few people I've known to get past like the fucking retarded like bike levels and shit. Bro, is those yeah. fucking guy yeah. right those here. Concrete walls <laughs> came up. Yes. God, and I'm sitting there. That, I'm like, how's the one he that doing I struggled this? after that was uh, where you're riding the little. Yeah, the, like the, the one, the one with the wheel though. Yeah, and you had like I oh, think a yeah, buzz yeah. saw chasing you or some crap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No nah, man, I never got past that. That was that game might be one of the hardest games of all time. Yeah, I can't yeah. think of any. I can't I think, think of any they, other game higher. I think they were trying to like separate themselves from other games at the time. They mm. were kind of like because everything was kind of like easy. I was wondering why they took so head. long to bring it back. I don't know. That it's, that I'm, was a legendary. I thought probably, they were uh, talking about it probably like licensing. Yeah, I thought they were talking about it like I want to say like five years ago or something like yeah. that. I, it might have been mentioned, but it, he yeah. might be right about like possible licensing. That game issues. was insane. Well, it was used to be owned by Rare. Right. And now Microsoft owns oh, yeah, Rare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and that's why, same thing that. with Banjo-Kazooie, uh, right. which now that they're in Smash, I feel like they're probably going to get a game for themselves like in the near future. So when are they going to bring back a good Perfect Dark, then? <laughs> or GoldenEye. Or GoldenEye. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> bring that back. They never remastered that properly. No, not at I all. I hated that game, too. Yeah, because you sucked. <laughs> no, nah, man, I just sucked with the, the little four... four cor- like, it's hard to see on those little oh. tiny-ass screens. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I got in it. I got in the game when after everybody had it for like two months, so they knew all the stages and where to go. And I'm just trying to survive at this point. <laughs> yeah, I bet Bo's a screen looker too. Yeah. I was. Oh back yeah, in the day. no, all of you. It was screen, everybody I played with a bunch of screen looking. Fuck assholes. yeah, back when that was a thing, right? God. Hated that. Those were the best nights, though. I say yeah. that, like fucking being up late as fuck playing that shit or fucking Mario Party. No, my all nighter was revenge. That and WrestleMania. Yeah. Yo, they we did. I remember <clears throat> it might be the WrestleMania the or Rumble Revenge. Joints. They like now, mind you, I was fuck like it was I think sophomore junior year. Uh, they did a drinking game where the forty man match. <laughs> if you're controlling somebody and you get knocked off you on that guy, you gotta take a shot. Oh, that man. sounds fun. And I was like participating, but I was younger, so I did every two characters basically. That so was, they geez. didn't give me alcohol poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> it gets worse as you go too. It's yeah, like a snowball yeah, effect. But you're, yeah, <laughs> you're done after one game. Like at after first you're one like, whole shit. Royal Rumble, you're done. Yeah. And then eventually you're just like in a yeah. There's haze. nothing you can do after. <laughs> that. Like I'm gonna. And die, I like right? that one because it was like the character you could create characters. <laughs> so we made Pink Punisher because <laughs> yes, why yeah. not? The name is great. <laughs> that was the he pink just had the, he had the little star costume on his head and just all pink. Yeah. Nice. Um, so, uh, so I mean, I think we're all in agreement then. I think, like, well, me and you are. And I know Big Red hasn't really followed the much bulk of it, but Nintendo pretty much won this year. They definitely won. Yeah. I got to watch half of that conference, and it was mm-hmm. like they didn't have the live audience or whatever, so they were just going Damn. back to back to back. <laughs> like, they're just playing stuff, and you're like, <clears throat> like, and once again, I'm not, like, as into it, but I, get, I knew the significance of what they were doing. I was right. like, man, this is, like... Yeah. They're killing shit right now, and they're not even like <laughs> they're going in raw. <laughs> they know? fucking hit the <laughs> gas and we're just fucking yeah, yeah, gone, exactly. dude. Yeah, and, and with Sony not being there too. Yeah, like, I mean, well, and the thing is, Sony dropped shit, but it wasn't really there per se. I guess yeah. from what I was reading, like I couldn't really find anything. Like they dropped some shit. Wait, Sony wasn't there? Not necessarily. No, not like crazy. I don't think they had like an actual <laughs> they big have a like. Presser. What are they yeah. gonna do? They're gonna do their own thing. Well, no, which they, would be smart. They're basically, you know what, man? I actually, what's funny is I actually like, I don't like these things mm-hmm. personally. I just would rather a constant stream of information come out. Right. I don't like like the big, well, like bust a nut at one time. Yeah, like I'd rather. <laughs> I think Sony's like going the right direction, man. I mean, well, they the did. Sec- um, they revealed five, the PlayStation Five. 
Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's been shown. Yeah, that thing looks dope. But there was a couple of games, I think, that they dropped. Uh, but it, Well, like Square, like this Final Fantasy VII, that's, that's PS4. Yeah. You know? uh, a couple of things, like they definitely dropped some games, but it wasn't like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The individual games, for sure. Yeah, yeah, but nothing like... I don't think they had like a big... Yeah, they didn't have their, um, you know, the presser. guy walk up and... yeah. I we like games here, right? We, we didn't have that. Here, <laughs> we play the Xbox here at Sony. <laughs> we appreciate games, and we and we make we make a bunch of games. I hate those, man. I watch them. Have you ever, <laughs> I'm just here, like, here's oh, Justin Bieber up, to bro. tell us all about the new place, <laughs> right? Yeah, right. And then they bring out somebody. Man. <laughs> bring out now, Keanu Reeves is a, he's an exception, to right? The yeah, he yeah. gets a pass. It, it works. <laughs> he's oh, a god amongst men, so it he, works. He really is, though. <clears throat> but yeah, so. Yeah, Nintendo pretty much won. They had the biggest lineup of drops, plus other games from other companies that are, like, going to be on Switch. But, I mean, fuck, they even got Resident Evil 5 and 6 being ported over there. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of good-looking indie games coming out, too. Yes. 12 Minutes? 12 Minutes? Do you see 12 Minutes? No. What is that? Where the guy, like, it starts off as, like, an overhead shot of, like, one room. It's a guy and his, uh, I assume, I can't remember, it was, like, wife or girlfriend. Hmm. And it's like slowly panning down on him, and he's basically like, "Look, somebody's gonna walk in this door and gonna." I can't remember. I think I think he said like someone's gonna walk. In, I think it was like someone's gonna walk in and kill them. Oh shit! And like so, this guy relives basically like he relives his twelve minutes over and over again. Oh, okay. he's got to try to like it's the a time loop. Day it's a time loop. Basically, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's like, And this guy basically has to like I think he's trying to figure out a way to get out of it obviously. within the twelve minutes. But he's like got to explain to her, and obviously when he's explaining <laughs> it to her, he's essentially explaining it to you that right. you're in a time loop and. This guy's Yo, about to come in. And cross I, him. I did see like a uh, something about it. Like I just saw Groundhog Day game in quotes, and then twelve minutes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes so much more sense now. Yeah, and it's like that looked interesting. Yeah, I like it. I love it when uh, they'll put stuff out like that. Man, we'll do like, different things. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Like, you know, there's formulas, and they it's people that step outside of it. Are, it's like indie movies. Yeah, you know, yeah. for games. Well, like Fun remember back at um, you know, Thug Mansion, <laughs> right? <laughs> they had the that would. That's, Shout out uh, to Thug Mansion. Right? Um, <laughs> dying Light. Not Dying Light, no. Um, uh, what was the... Heavy Rain. They were playing that a lot oh, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was basically a movie, but you were, you know, pretty much you know, making the choices in a sense. Or if you didn't do the shit right, he would fuck up. Right, and, and you're, right. whatever you choose uh, changes like the mood of the character, which mm-hmm. affects the story. Yeah. It was, uh, what was it called? Indigo Prophecy? It's the same idea. Mm-hmm. I think it's the game that came out before Heavy Rain. Yeah. Same company. I forget their name. Mm. I don't know. Same idea. Yeah. I I was I was blown away by this shit. I was like, yo. So now we're making basically movies where you can interact with them. Like, that was pretty fucking dope. So. <clears throat> but, yeah. So, um, shout out to Nintendo for winning. Let's give them a round of applause, Serge. Let's give Nintendo. Sure. Let's do that. A round of applause for winning E3 this year. Yeah. Pretty fucking awesome. Surprised they didn't do any uh, new Switch hardware or anything. Like a, no. like a small version or a bigger version or anything. They were like, fuck this. We're going in hard. We got a solid system. Motherfuckers fucks with us now. That's what they Cause... said. <laughs> Verbatim. <laughs> right? <laughs> Verbatim. <laughs> they the fucks Japanese with us dude now. walked out and said right? that. Verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> like all these licenses, because remember, like Nintendo didn't have like all these people fucking with them. Yeah, because the the hardware wasn't as as capable. But now with the Switch, they actually can make solid games now. And yeah. motherfuckers like, all right, yep, we got you, dog. Yep, that's what they said once again. <laughs> <laughs> like all these ports and shit. Like, yeah, we fucks with Nintendo now. <laughs> they <should>. yeah. <laughs> That's how you should do it from here on out, man. Right? The ghetto version. Of <laughs> the ghetto version. You should have two of them. N- Nintendo, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Speak E3 to the kids. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to see you going up there in a nice suit. And... No. no. Straight up fucking, uh, fucking bandana. Yeah, exactly. Fucking. Rep your, rep your hood. Depending on what generation, <laughs> like fucking baggy ass pants with your ass showing or tight ass pants with your ass showing I assume they'd be bloods because we got the red in there the Nintendo. true yeah, yeah so they'd be and coming Sony out is uh, the Crips dude so what does that sense. make Microsoft the fucking 
one of those the random Yakuza? Latin games. <laughs> <laughs> one of those <laughs> random Latin games. Is that it? Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Well, what was the Latin game called? Um, well, they could be Grove Street too. They could be or Grove. Like the L.A. Kings. Or <laughs> L.A. Kings. Yeah, but they was. were typically, I think, yellow, right? Like, oh yeah, you're right. You're I think right. Yellow was their thing. Well, um, well green and yellow kind of goes together. Yeah, in true. My mind right they now, could because it has to. I'm making a fit. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Kind of look like a banana, but not really. Yeah. Sort of right. I mean, essentially, that's what this is, is turf wars. Yeah. And exactly. Sony just opted out, and they're just watching the other two duke it out. <laughs> right. They're like, look, we'll clean up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're like, <laughs> they're smart, man, I'm telling you. Well, well they're, they're smart for not going in, because if they mm. don't have the PS5 ready, right. you know, why promise something that you can't keep? Exactly. You know, yeah. the Scarlet's closer to coming out. I love mm. how with the Scarlet, they were like, basic information like barely yeah. giving it because they're like they don't want Sony to do what they did last time yeah Sony came in last time and just like showed them up the next year I, not that they're going to have a conference anyway but they'll have the yeah. reveal they'll, they'll show it off online oh yeah no yeah. I, and I, honestly they might just sneak it at, like at the beginning of the year like fucking like a New Year's fucking day announcement like yeah. New Year new PlayStation <laughs> New Year new me bitch <laughs> you remember am I remembering this right like Sony hmm. Sony uh, like when when Microsoft did that thing where they were talking about like <sighs> being able to purchase your games online and not having mm. a physical copy, like Sony came in and they were like, "This is how we use we would play games," and they would like pass physical copies back and forth. Like that's something that you should keep doing. Yeah, that was kind of like weird. It's yeah, like, I remember future, seeing that. Right? I think that was. Am I, I think right? That was them. I think I'm right. They were like really making fun of the fact that they were trying to be like. You know, mm. not have physical copy of games, and it's like, well, yeah, because I mean, the argument was that you, you can't do that. You can't like, yo, dog, you play this shit here, try this shit. Yeah, yeah. couldn't really do that anymore. You well, know, well, there's that thing with the uh, what's their camera called again? I'm drawing uh, a blank on the name. The, for PlayStation or no, for the, Xbox? Uh, Xbox Connect the Connect. Connect. Yeah. 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 yeah, then the thing where they had the detection if someone was in the room that didn't own the game, they couldn't play it. Remember seeing that? Really? It was supposed to be the initial thing with the Xbox One. Oh. Yeah, because they caught mad heat off of that. Yeah, it's yeah. bullshit. Yeah. I remember like they had to go. I remember them. they went and changed it like after a, a couple of days of backlash. They Damn. were like, "Yeah, listen, we're, you're going to be allowed to play it. Don't worry." <laughs> My bad. We're sorry, <laughs> we're sorry. <laughs> Whoops, psych. Yeah, no, that's man. God, those are the days. Now, now VR is the uh, the next push. We're going to get Ready Player One level shit. I and still the, haven't seen that. <laughs> I want Black Mirror type of shit. You put it that little hard. thing on your on your temple, bruh. Speaking of which, yeah, I know solid transition. Um, <laughs> and that's the first episode, right? Striking Vipers. Yes, yes. Striking yeah, yeah. Vipers. But they had another episode like that with the guy uh, who made the uh, fake Star Trek thing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. But it was it was also a game as well, and they had mm. that. They're 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 showing a lot us of them, something. A lot of them like bleed together like that. Yeah, where you no, can, they're showing us something. I think they're going to have a system where they're going to plug it in. Where you could just put it on your temple, yeah. And right. Play. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, what is it called? Neuralink or whatever? Yeah, Probably. yeah. yeah like, I think uh, that's what it was. Elon it's coming. Musk apparently it's coming. They, they haven't been wrong on anything. So yeah, we're going to go to that actually. Um, so uh, B- Black Mirror season five. If you haven't watched Black Mirror at all, um, I recommend it highly uh, by a lot of people. Uh, if you've ever seen Twilight Zone, and this is people who haven't seen the shit. Or anything like that. They're not procedural They're episodes. Pretty much the same show. They are singular, small stories. Uh, but what Black Mirror really focuses on is social, quote unquote, norms and um, social media technology. Like they have a real, pretty decent focus on certain things in that aspect. Um, but season five is only three episodes, which I was a little That's upset. weird. I know, man. That's weird. It's a little upset. Why even call it a season? Yeah. <clears throat> you know? Like, Part one would have been dope, like three yeah, episodes, and then part they're two. all over the place. With like the, every every season is a little different. I can't remember exactly, but I think it's like there's three, there's, yeah, there's six, five, there's a, yeah, yeah, five, yeah, whatever. Uh, the I think Christmas season, episode was like a season by itself. I think was it? Well, no, the Christmas episode was almost technically like two parts. I think it was. Uh, it wasn't like okay. a movie or something, essentially. Oh yeah, it was feature length. Yeah. Yeah, Which yeah, yeah. Is a critique I kind of have on Black. I feel like they should be more feature length. Yeah. Like a lot of times, I feel like they leave some stuff. Well, and that's the point. On the cutting room floor. That's the point. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll say uh, first episode, God, fuck, Jesus. <laughs> so we're going uh, spoilers, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're going spoilers. Spoiler alert. We you got to say that. Like, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I'm a I'm a I'm one of those people too. Like I yeah. hate I barely like watching trailers. Right. So like when people I don't mind trailers. I, I, I went for a while where I didn't watch trailers and I still mm. For like indie movies and stuff, I'll walk into a theater. I don't know what I'm watching. <laughs> and dude, you and like I'm, I'm here, <laughs> bro. It makes it like even a mediocre movie. It makes it mm. that much better because you just don't know what you're about to watch. And right. You're watching it the way it's intended to be seen, mm. not just cut and spliced together. Anyway, yeah, that makes tangent. sense. Like no, no, you're good. Um, but yeah, so first episode, fucking. Ugh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the Falcon. Shout out to Mantis. No, that's Clarence. He ain't the Falcon no more. Right? Fucking Clarence. Um, Mantis hot as fuck. But. Yeah, she was. Yeah. I, that was a really questionable episode. I did. Questionable. <laughs> I, I didn't expect it to go that direction, which is why I enjoy Black Mirror. Cause I, you, I, I kind of saw it going, getting ready to go that direction. I did too. Sir. And I was like, please, God, don't. Yeah. <laughs> please, God, don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the title. Yeah, striking vipers. When you when I, when I yeah when I so when now I now that it makes <laughs> now it makes sense. So when I first oh, when I first started geez. watching, I was like, that's an interesting name for a video game. But then again, <laughs> like Soul Calibur, oh. Mortal Kombat with a K. That's, well, it looks like a Tekken knockoff. Tekken, yeah, yeah. it did look yeah. like Tekken. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a really good game actually. Right. But, and so it's like, but then when it, when that happened, and I think <laughs> like three quarters of the way into the episode, I was like. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a basic joke. <laughs> like, uh, it's so funny, dude. But that's like they they operated that. Uh, you know, you can tell it's written by a comedian. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it it definitely. I mean, I did. I honestly, that was another one out of the three that I was like, that did not end. Kind of how I thought it was gonna end. <laughs> like, Nothing happened in there the way I thought it was. Right, but like even so, like all right. So spoiler alert. Like I did. I honestly thought. Like, are you just gonna say just say the episode and what happens in the episode? I thought his wife was gonna leave. I thought she I was know. done. No, she gets a, she gets a night off to do what yeah, the fuck get she a wants. Cheat day. Yeah, this, yeah, is a cheat a, day. this is a modern relationship, yeah. Yeah. open relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like. I like how they subvert expectations. Yeah, like, yeah. and I love how she Mary. came out the bedroom and they're playing video games. And she just goes and grabs a joint and goes yeah. on her merry way. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, take, before take, take your rings off for yeah. mentally night, fucking each other. Fucking weird. <laughs> so why 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 so, did they get a cheat day? What happened? Why did they get a cheat day? <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't seen it yet, <laughs> go ahead. Tell us what happens. <laughs> you got two guys that neural link. Basically, they're in visually in the game, like they're kind of almost comatose out on their couch. So ba- it's a VR game. Yeah, they're it's jacked in game. though, like they're totally jacked in all the way, like they're just limp on the couch in their own little world. Speaking of limp on the couch, right? I don't understand how this works. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing, because remember after the first incident, he goes back into the bedroom and she's like reaching on his dick, and she's like, "Oh, hey, he's awake." Right? And, you know, so obviously it so, it, it works. I guess. Basically, he's sitting there with rock hard. Right. His kids Dick are just playing around. Up. Right. <laughs> like, and imagine that. <laughs> For real. Because his kid kicked him at one point. Yeah, it's like, wake up, Daddy. He's like, that was I was pants. waiting the entire time for Danny to call out Carl's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, best friends, they, they, live, they grew up together for a while, live together, and end up playing a game and pretty much fucking each other in the game. One of them plays as a chick, one of them plays as a guy, and they fuck each other. In the video game. And then they're like, do we have feelings no, for each no, other? No, the first episode, the first time they do it, and then they it log an off. Accident. It was an accident. They did the, then he logs back on the next time. We were and he's drunk. like, yeah, I was drunk. Oh, yeah, me too. Okay, cool. We're going to have a serious game this time. <laughs> no, you're yeah. not going to have a serious <laughs> nope. game this time. And then they just fight harder, and they're trying to resist the urge. Right. And, just get and, and then, then it's an everyday thing. Yeah. It becomes an addiction. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. an issue, man. God, it was crazy. And I'm just going to say... Go for it. I'm all for that. Like, I'm all for having a system like that with a game like that. polar bear. As long as I don't... (laughs) As long as I do not... That line, I was like, That's going to be a legendary line. (laughs) I fucked a polar bear. But as long as I don't know who I'm playing against, I am all for that. Like, I don't care... It like, could be a ninety-year-old man. It could be a ninety-year-old dude on the other side. Just as long as I don't, I don't care. Wow! But like that's a, what made it weird for me is that these dudes knew each other and they were like, "Hey, you getting on at midnight tonight?" I yeah, know, bro. Yeah, it's kind of like putting it's, a virtual bag on their head. You know? Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little much. So it's weird. I was just like, "This is so weird." No virtual bag, bro. But I would totally do that. That's fucking good. So instead of hashtag no homo, 
Is it hashtag no striking vipers? No striking vipers. No striking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like you can get away with that in public better. It's yeah, like, you really could. It's not frowned upon yet. No, not was, until people catch on. Uh, it'll, it'll be like an inside joke. So like. You know, if somebody if somebody catches you saying it, they'll be like, well, "I appreciate the reference. I don't even, I'm not even mad." <laughs> <laughs> like, thank you. Yeah, I, I really, I do appreciate. Yeah, it was just that. weird. And then how he's like, he's, he's like, "Hey, I can't, I can't go tonight. It's my anniversary." Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, <laughs> and he was really upset. Oh, my bad. My- <laughs> dude, he was blowing his phone. He's like, "I can't do this no more." Why? Come on, it's fun. It's just a game, <laughs> right. right? It's like porn, man. It's not. That's not more. No stuff, man. <laughs> not at all. Like, yo, what is happening? When here? he tells them he loves them and shit, I'm like, man, what is happening? Yeah, yeah. That was really. And then they meet up at the end of the fucking episode. Just kiss me, bro. Just let's get this yeah. over with. I'll give him that. That was actually kind of funny. Like he's like, let's just get this over with and see. And then like yeah. they do it, and then they both in denial and start fighting each other. Yeah. And then the cops show up. I got to admit, I thought it was going to end with them Somebody basically dying. fucking on the street. That. I was, and then, no, like, they didn't do it. Yeah, I no, like, okay. I honestly thought maybe it, one of them was about to die. To oh, yeah, honest. true that. Just because Black Mirror, sometimes black motherfuckers dudes. just die. It can get pretty yeah. dark quickly. <laughs> right. Like, totally curve off. Like, and people dead now. Be a, that would be a hell of an ending, though. Right? You know, <laughs> it wouldn't like, really fit the narrative at all. At all, be, right? Just, just be like, okay. Dies. Yeah. Damn. So... I gotta say, like that's it was a good episode. Like it was really well written. It just I, fucking wow. Like you really <laughs> went there. Like yeah. that's where you went with this. Like <laughs> well, wow. that's what I loved about it. It's yeah. because I guarantee every dude is like, that would be fucking awesome if it wasn't my best friend I was playing with. Right. Like <laughs> what the so, hell? So let's break down this. So the thing is weird is like, why is it a fighting game? Because like it's something where like you could feel any sensation and they. Like, when they said that, I knew where it was going. <laughs> right. They, they, they were like, because, like, what would people do with that technology? They would right. do exactly what they're doing. Exactly. Like, and, like, especially, like, you could experience, like, how it feels mm. like to be a woman and stuff like that, mm. which that raises a bunch of other questions. Right. It's like, how? <laughs> and also, how do you mimic how it feels like to have a orgasm as a polar bear? <laughs> like, how do you, what do you ask a polar bear? How's it feel? I don't know. You got, <laughs> you got to log in as a polar bear. And find how do you out. figure out like how they feel when they? Oh. It's just so much weird stuff going on. Yeah. And Why it, is it a fighting game? That's what's. Is it, is it, like, is it a girl polar bear? You would think it'd be like a Sims thing or something. That's a good question. Is it a girl polar bear or a guy Sims. polar bear? If it was like a Sims game, that'd make a lot more sense. Yeah, it would. It's like why? It's it's fighting game because it's like masculinity. Well, and that like, and it's it's common. It's the most common like. Right. Yo, you want we going Soul Calibur? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, we yeah. we gonna play some more combat. Now, if they made a Madden like that, ooh, ooh. getting hit by professional oh, athletes, really? <laughs> right? Sounds great. <laughs> you just die. <laughs> NBA game. <laughs> you just go in. You go in there, man. And uh, we got Ray Lewis as an add-on character. Yeah, you bring him back, and you now die. now that was thinking because I never thought about it. Like, what games would be really dope to play like that? Oh, honestly, the MMOs. I the majority f- of those. I wouldn't want to feel anything. <laughs> Rocket League. That actually sounds like that. I mean, I that would be kind of fun. I mean, you're basically driving a car, hitting fun. a ball, trying to score. You know, it's like soccer and cars. As long as you don't feel any derby, have soccer, right? Car soccer, yeah, car soccer. Yeah. That would be dope. I like that. So yeah, Serge, what game? If you if you if you had to to narrow up. What what would you fucks with? I mean, I would like this my, mainly sports games because you know yeah. me. That's my like low lane. I I like M- NBA would be really dope to play like that, right? Because you have the statistics of the player that you're picking. So if I'm picking like Kobe Bryant or somebody or LeBron James, Train. I'm playing like Kobe or or LeBron. So yeah, you just truck through everybody. Especially if you can create your own character, make them like seven and a half feet tall. Yeah, exactly, you know? <laughs> right. exactly. Well, and now like w- like I hope. You could go the full because remember you had like my character where he had like the life. Yeah, you had the life and everything. You start off in a little tiny ass apartment. <laughs> now that you got would... this big ass mansion. I like it. Yeah, All right, I would never turn it off. I'd probably say fuck real life. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that, man. This is my you life. Get live as a... This is my life now. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Red, what about you? What which, which one would you? Narrow what up kind for? of game? Yeah, what would you know? For sure, up? sports. I think just yeah. because you get to live that rock star, especially because they have the rock star. You get to live as an athlete, man, a professional athlete. Everywhere you go. All the ladies want to be with you. All the dudes want to be you. Yeah. Like, and they have those, like, now Madden has a, you know, you follow a dude's career or whatever. Like, 
Yeah. Who's to say you can't dope. party like they do? And yeah. Whatever. That's true. You That's could have true. the whole lifestyle. Do a bunch of virtual blow. <laughs> exactly. <parties>. Yeah. <laughs> you get the same exact. <laughs> it affects you in the same exact way, but Wait, you're just but you're calm just down like, on the couch. Yes. <laughs> That can that could work. It. Ooh, GTA. Ah. Oh, yeah. go to the strip club. <laughs> so, Chuck, what about you? Honestly, what are you narrowing? Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Just build your own world and For shit. For real. That's that. Hey, hey, I like it. I like it. I mean, that that would be pretty cool. Dig Doug. <laughs> 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 Fucking bubble bobble. No. <laughs> Oh my Castlevania God. would be badass. Yeah, oh, that would yeah. be. How about Wolfenstein killing Nazis? <laughs> yeah, that'd be dope. I would have to Smash go. Smash Brothers, um, ooh, Mirror's Edge. Shit, damn. I would probably. You know what? Honestly, I would probably pick um, probably the, what, one of the MMOs, like probably either World of Warcraft or Elder Scrolls Online. You fucking would. I would. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a I'm a fantasy. You know guy. those war games would be badass. Fuck that too. too. But I mean, fuck it. I can ride a, like a fucking dragon and shit. I mean, tech, come on. Let's be real here. But can you fuck the dragon? Probably. The I mean, shit. <laughs> at this point, <laughs> might as well. I'd fuck the dragon, all right, guys? Call, you know me, you know call cool? me donkey because I'm fucking dragons. <laughs> <laughs> what's cool about it, too, is it doesn't have to be the best game. No, exactly. Right. Yeah. Like, you can just be, I mean, it's Even just. Even Mario so Brothers would be badass. All right. right. The oh, Resident yeah, Evil cool. 2 remake. Except you'd have to Ooh. feel it every time you hit the, the yeah. box. Yeah. Shit. That or eating the shrooms. Imagine that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Contra. Get the star. You Did just you guys see the, the 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 Contra thing with the VR? Yes. Yeah, that, that was pretty looked cool. badass too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. I wish they didn't call it Contra though. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look anything like Contra. <laughs> mm. I like the whole concept of that, and I hope they mm. do make a Contra like that, like the whole full game. That would be dope. Ninja Gaiden would be badass like that too. Oh, being a ninja, that would, that would be sick. All right, so episode two was uh, Smithereens. Smithereens, yeah. Um, do like, and that one now, honestly, I feel like. That one was the most "quote unquote" Black Mirror, like was, in their yeah. whole idea, because you start off, you really didn't know where this was going. Yeah, like, but I was like, okay, so he, maybe he is like, I was like, okay, he's probably trying to like kidnap somebody or something, but why? Right. You know, shout out to I, Franklin from Snowfall. Yeah, and shout and honestly, mm. shout out to fucking Topher Buns. <laughs> Topher oh Buns, yeah, no, he baby. was great. He in that. was. He was really Dude, good. In and that. you don't, y'all. I'm glad you mentioned it because when he popped up on the screen, I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and his character did not disappoint. I thought he was great. no. He he's underrated. Honestly, I don't know if yeah. he just doesn't act that much or if he doesn't pick like the, like a lot of different roles. Like yeah. I know he does shit, but it's not not common. Quote unquote. I guess you could say yeah, right? Quote unquote. Yeah. Maybe yeah. he doesn't do a lot. At least nothing big. He selects. Besides, he's, um, he's picky. Uh, the Black Klansman. Oh, dude, that was so I didn't good. See that. I haven't seen that so yet. So good. Yeah, it's, it's better than people gave it credit for. I thought, man. And but. I know he was in it, which I was like, oh shit, <laughs> fucking yo, it's Eric. Yeah. <laughs> what up, dog? But um, so, and it, honestly, that one was the most socially topical. That's probably my favorite one. This yeah, season. I agree too. Like when he broke down at the end and explained yeah, how, why he, how, how the social media works. Yeah, yeah. It's like it just started out of this thing and yeah. Well, no, that and honestly, the the how they showed it on the inside, how they're like, oh, we already figured this out before the FBI. We already figured it out before these other oh, people. Yeah, they're bigger than the police. That's yeah, a, that's a statement on social media companies like uh, Instagram yeah. and Facebook. Yeah. You know, exactly. Yep. God and, mode. That's a real thing, by the way. Right. I, I, honestly, I'm pretty sure it is. Apparently, it is. I, yeah. I would not be surprised, honestly. But it was just fucking good. My it biggest so complaint good. about that episode is he has two cars in his plan. Why the fuck would you use the Ford as the escape car? <laughs> right. Yeah. It was dead. It, it fucking found it dead. That's, That's hilarious. True. Yeah. No, I I gotta say I was really pleasantly surprised with that one. Um, just the overall way it happened. Like, they were subtly hinting at shit, and I'm like, all right, so it has to do something with cell phones or, or some shit, because he started tripping out at the restaurant, like, bugging out and shit. And I was like, all right, this is cool. What the fuck is going to happen? There's also kind of a statement on, like, uh, cell phone addiction and the fact they're always oh, yeah. addicted to distractions, yeah. too, yeah. you know? Yeah, and then the fact is, like, is it when he had his breakdown finally when he was explaining it to him, and he was just like, and all this for a picture of a dog. Yep. You break fuck. it down to what it really is. It's fuck. Like, damn. Basically, like those PSAs, man. Yeah. Like, you know, don't don't. <laughs> it was. It, it was, was like it low was, key one of the like, hey, no texting and driving. Yeah, don't, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. 
It can wait. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Better left unread than dead. Now, did they ever get into why? Uh, what happened to that lady's the dude that he's the chick that he smashed? Her daughter. You know, she, she was yeah, trying, that bugs me too. Oh, you didn't get into like. I must have you didn't figure it. out why she committed suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. the very yeah, beginning, yeah. she because she was trying to yeah. figure out her password the whole time. Right. I think that was. I thought it was interesting how like the second she entered the hint, the she hit the enter button, the shot that went the off. shot went off, and yeah. it was like we. Uh, how do I articulate this? Like we we uh, like we put so much like in to the why. God damn! How do I word that? Like I thought it was, I just thought it was like super. It was powerful. Yeah, you yeah. see it because like it's like she's about to enter the world that she didn't even know. Like we put pieces ourselves out there into social mm. media that we don't even do with our own loved ones. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? And it's like she's about to find out what get happened. a peek into that, and like he's losing his life over it. And right, it's like it's a. It all came together in a powerful way. I honestly gotta say too, I <laughs> it fucked me up because I was like, yo, what happened? Like, did they accidentally shoot both of them? I didn't, I, like, I didn't like how they did that. To be yeah. I thought they should have just been more. Ju- just show us what happened, man. I didn't, yeah. I didn't like because, like, what's the reason for that? Because they're well, also, like, like, thinking, what's the point? Right. Yeah. They got the message out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And and honestly, I mean, it's like the, the I forgot, it was like a classic, like, I think, mythological story or some shit where, or no, it was just about a dude in the Coliseum, and he has to pick, basically, a door or some shit, and ultimately they don't tell you which door he picks. Mm. It's like something back way back from like English class, but it basically it's just the whole idea, just like uh, Reservoir Dogs. Like they yeah. let you pretty much like, well, what Finish do you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I so, like that, but I felt like I don't know. I felt like for this story, I well, got cheated. More yeah, we want to know if Franklin like, made it or not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I felt bad for him. <laughs> he was in the car, had a bag over his head, thrown up in the bag. Oh yeah, that was so gross. <laughs> Yo, the claustrophobia part fucked me up because yeah. I am a little claustrophobic myself. Yeah, yeah, okay. So when he was throwing him in the truck and he was screaming, I was like, ah! <laughs> ah! God damn it! He was not quiet about it either. No, <sighs> man. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Because I was like, yeah, I, I would never want that to happen. I like how they showed the, the what's the guy's name, main character that gets shot? Oh, um, it was uh, fucking Chris G, right? Chris, whatever. We'll call him Chris. Yeah. I like that he was like, they showed his humanity in so many moments. Mm-hmm. He's like, come sit in the front, man. Damn. Like, right. you know, there's like, there's a lot of that going on. There's no bullets in the gun, things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you see that he's like, he just, he's, he's just fucked up. Yeah. He just like, his life went to He shit. just wanted, yeah, because his wife yeah. died. So. Yeah. yeah. And, and like he when he dude, kind of the way it opens up. and he goes to the cafe, he picks up that woman and uh, right. Well, and, and he was not the didn't work there, and he's like, yeah. you can see it in his face. He's like, fuck. And then, and then he goes to the cafe and he's like sitting there and like he, you could see his mind going yeah. crazy with all the vibrations and the dings and then like the the lights going got a hum to it and it's kind of like mixing with everything and then he's just going crazy and he has to leave. It's like. That was pretty. That was some good filmmaking right there, man. Yeah, it was right. definitely the most tense episode too. Yeah, mm. from start to finish, you're like, no. what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Yeah, like, you're was, in it. <laughs> I was locked in, bro. Yeah. And like they, uh, that one, that was another punch fucking to the gut ending. I was like, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Like, can we just? I, I really want to know if, if, as Serge was saying, Franklin made it. Like, because that was the whole point. They weren't taking the shot. Like, I'm gonna bust his head and I'm gonna bust the guy's exactly. head behind him. Like, it was fucked up, bro. So. Exactly. Yeah, and, and and all that shit Franklin put him through, he's he didn't want to let him die. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he put Franklin through. Franklin was like, "Nah, dude, you're not gonna kill yourself, bro. I'm I'm here with you." Yeah, because he was, that was here cool. and everything yeah. he was going through. He's like, "Man, I empathize." Yeah. Yeah. And then he was like, "Son of a bitch, now I feel bad." <laughs> like yeah. he wasn't really kidding. He was getting me. ready to leave. <laughs> right. <laughs> he's like, "You go ahead and leave." He's like, "Got the child lock on, bro." <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was fucking good. I felt like they paid off him getting on the phone with. Uh, I forgot his name, Bauer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. They, they really paid that off, I thought. I yep. like that conversation they had. And I like that he was lost. He was like, mm-hmm. no, he's like, I had this scripted. I was going to say this. And he's like, I don't even know what to say now. But yeah. I don't want to hear your bitching either. Like, he was, because he was telling me, he's like, I didn't start this way or whatever. Right. And he's like, I don't want to hear this. <laughs> yes. When he said that, I was like, that's interesting. I, he just know, wants to be heard. He doesn't want to, like, have to listen. That's what social media is. Like, yeah. everybody putting their opinions out there. He doesn't want to hear more opinions. He's like, this is how I feel. Yeah. You no, know, for I will real say, how I feel, not fake. I honestly had thought for a split second that the quote unquote twist was that Bauer was the one that killed his wife. That's what I was Damn. thinking too. You know, I was thinking like maybe they had like a drunk accident or and that's something. That's why he was on and, that retreat. Yeah. And, and, oh. but no, no, it was just legit his own damn fault. I'm which, glad they didn't do that though. It would have been right. too obvious. You know? yeah, yeah. Exactly. And exactly. They really were like, nope, fuck it. It was himself. Thanks. 
Okay, bye. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking great. So that was a good one. And then the third one was the weakest, in my opinion. Oh, the Miley that Cyrus was, one? Yeah. It was funny. I ain't gonna lie. It had funny moments. I liked her interactions with herself. Like, with the little robot self that yeah. was a fan. Like, I liked it because they, they had that same idea from one of the previous seasons where you put your consciousness yeah. into, a, into the doll or whatever it was. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. it was like, or like the, the lady who got her own personal assistant and oh, it was yeah. her own self. Yeah, it was her own brain. It was, she was trapped in there. Yeah. yeah. Or the other one with the guy who was in prison. Yeah. Yep. So they mm-hmm. kind of sped the time up and he's in there like a thousand years, but to them it was only five minutes. Yep. That was a great But they said that's really coming. Yeah, I, mean, I can like, see it that's too. That's really coming. No, I'm pretty sure that. Black Mirror puts little drips. Black of, Mirror uh, puts you know real life stuff that's coming out disclosure. on their show to like let people know, like the bees, the electronic bees. Yeah, yeah. same thing. Mm-hmm. Like I saw yeah. Black Mirror, and then literally two months later, I saw a story of how they're doing the exact same thing. The same thing with the uh, was it the popularity thing in China? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. They did like an episode the... like that, um, and that's coming this way too. Nose dive. Yeah. <clears throat> that that was, was coming this way too. That's where Jessica Chastain was in it. Yeah, it was well the chick from Jurassic World. Yeah, wrong one. Oh, uh, what's her name? Link on her name. I don't know her name either. Bryce Dallas Howard. Is that yes. it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't know. That name, as it came, I was saying it. Bryce <laughs> Dallas <laughs> the, the social, The social <laughs> score. <laughs> Yo, that was fucked up, though. Yeah. yeah. And that, they're already doing that in China. Yeah. yeah. But and they're going to start doing that here eventually. That's why they're rolling out the 5G the way they are. Because mm. that's what's going to help power that thing. So, I, I mean. So, my ass is not going to be able to travel. No, everybody my social hates score you. is pretty fucking low. <laughs> everybody hates you, so it's not yeah. necessarily that. It's just my credit shot, so that's going to be a big part. Of right. a that's a problem, hat. right? If everybody wants to make me one, I'll wear it. Yo, a tinfoil hat would be dope as shit. But I mean, give I'll I'll give credit to Miley Cyrus. She she definitely did pretty solid in the episode. Like as overall goes, I mean, I don't think I've seen her any. I've never watched obviously her show fucking Hannah Montana. <laughs> Um, I don't think I've ever seen her in anything like no. So I, I gave her credit. She she definitely did a damn good job for what she had. I just it didn't it didn't end like a black mirror. It ended happy, and maybe that was their twist. Like this is a happy ending, motherfuckers. Yeah, be yeah. yourself, right? Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> basically the. Most. But no, it the the social commentary I did I did like I did like the whole basically because that's that's what we have right now. These you got the 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 half naked pop stars and they're right. Saying about be yourself, yeah. While they're like basically life. popping drugs all the time, right? right. Your I life think they is... touched a little bit of MK Ultra in there. Yeah, yeah. Mm. hologram technology, you know, transference of uh, consciousness into an yeah. AI. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't understand <clears throat> totally what was going on with the dude wearing the uh, what they call that a uh, motion capture. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's like oh, because he's, he's 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 doing the dance moves. Yeah, he's doing yeah. The dance moves, and they're just using her body. He's as like the stuff. avatar. Or yeah. Maybe I mean, I get it, but it's like. I don't know. That just seems like for the, for what they're doing, it's like that seems a little yeah. What we're doing now a little too much. Well, like, and and they, that's and that's, they're able to like literally take your consciousness and put it in a doll. Yeah, you think you wouldn't have to. <laughs> I don't know. But that was, I, and they're also doing this because it's more reactive to the crowd. So if this guy is watching the oh, crowd, yeah, he can point true, out to true. somebody in the crowd as opposed to the right. Tupac hologram, which is basically just how about the uh, programmed already making the song happier meter. Yeah, that was so weird in the studio when he's like, "We're gonna make this." Yeah, make the song heavier. <laughs> happier. It's literally one d- a tile. Just or one button. Call it. No, one, that's it. It literally just goes up, and it's like, no, it's changed the lyrics, and it's happy, and like it's more upbeat and up tempo. Yeah. It's like, what is this? Man? That shit was yeah. No, and <laughs> when when they remove the the sensor or the block on her little doll brain, yeah, oh, yeah like yeah. <clears throat> I will say that was I I was thoroughly entertained. That shit was funny to me. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I like the doll. I think the, the doll was the best part of the show. Yeah, and the part yeah. where she's like trying to leave the room and she's like, "Fuck, can you guys get the door?" Yeah, get the door. <laughs> like, <laughs> that shit was good. Like I'll give them credit. Like it definitely wasn't their best, but it wasn't their worst. <laughs> she was like, "Don't worry, guys. The cup holder's fine." Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that the shit setup was, was awesome, but like yeah. it went to a place. I thought the first act of all of them were awesome. Yeah, and then let's, eh, get a little iffy on some of them, but this one especially, man. I was like, nah. man, this is pretty bad. It's just that was me though, personally. Yeah, it just like I said, maybe that was their whole thing. Like they're like, this is our twist. We're gonna do a happy ending for once because it was. It was a happy fucking ending. Like chicks rocking out. Like she never. Like she heard the sister said, "Oh, you you don't even have the balls to fucking play." In public, at least I went on stage and, and now shit. Now she's playing with right with a fucking ex fucking big ass pop name? star a- a- Amber O or whatever oh, Ashley O Ashley O Ashley O, Ashley o. Yeah, yeah. and I mean that that cover of fucking Nine Inch Nails that was so creepy. It's good. 
You listen to it, it's like God, I was like, creepy. that's not bad. Especially when you know the but song. But it's like they took Nine Inch Nails and just turned up the happy meter on it. Right. Exactly. They did. <laughs> they did. Bro, did you know that the song she's singing at the piano, that's a Nine Inch Nails song too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and no. Which I love. And I, when I, when I recognized it from the second uh, line, I was like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, that's from, I think it was uh, With Teeth. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, <laughs> I like the how they had the two the, her two like little fans that oh, like yeah, were they the showed up <laughs> they yeah. showed up to the grunge show. Yeah, that, that was, was pretty funny. Now I'm wondering is is I wonder if Miley's going that route because she didn't sound that bad as a fucking like no no compared to what she's been doing. I'd rather have her do that than fucking pop rap or whatever the fuck she was doing before. Yeah, well, I mean the thing is. Actually, believe it or not, she's a solid. And she's singer. got the voice for that shit because of her, her low. Mm. She's got that low tone. Yeah, she's actually a decent singer. Like, contrary to all the bullshit she's actually made, like she she's a solid singer. So I I, I mean I, I enjoyed the episode for what it was, but I could. Do I think it was more just for comedy purposes, right? And it really did. It, it had some pretty funny moments. But um, what about you, Chuck? How you, how you feel about that? Shit? I think it was the weakest episode. Yeah. Yeah. No. I think it went downhill at the point where uh, it shows Ashley O in the coma and mm. the little robot thing starts flipping out. And I think after that point, it's kind of turned to shit, to be honest. Yeah. yeah it was pretty <laughs> it was like, like, what the fuck you mean I'm in a coma? Over and over, it was a, like, you know, plot point after plot point where you're just like, what? Really? Oh, okay. Like, it just, yeah, for me. make it a little too convoluted. Yeah. Mm. Like, the fact that they were able to just, like, go into, like, cause it was like they isolated, like, 4% of her personality or, or whatever it is. Yeah. To, like... And they, they were able to just go in there and be like, now it's full-fledged her. Mm. It's like, you put that, you and, put uh, all those dolls well, out. Yeah, and well, and that, that could I happen. was stupid was, she saw the she's news. in a coma and they're really just taking songs from her brain. Yeah, it's yeah. like, uh, you know how long that would take, man? If any, yeah, I mean, It's so yeah. stupid. They were like, this note, this is an F sharp. And it's like, what? Yeah, and like her aunt, <laughs> her aunt was like this evil ass person. But that part, stupid, really uh, believable. Yeah, the whole though. thing was stupid. That part was ex- extremely but set, What set this doll off was, like, it saw the news program where they were lying. They were saying that uh, she was in a it was coma. a shellfish aller- allergy, and, yeah. like, all mm. of a sudden it spazzes out. It's like, why didn't all the other dolls sit in front of a TV? Because supposedly she was the last one. Uh, they didn't mention that they were all destroyed or yeah. something. Yeah, because they all were oh, malfunctioning because of the I was the watching right. that at 2 a.m. I must have missed that, man. Yeah. yeah well, they that, were all malfunctioning, but they didn't have the, where they got their whole brain turned on to 100%. Right. And, gotcha. they, and I don't think they did. I think it just fucked up, and then when they went to fix it, they somehow magically were like, "We yeah. know what we're doing." Yeah, but that's like, yeah, they they opened that gateway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which uh, and again, it, it ties back into the original. You can put your consciousness into something like yeah. they did in the previous episodes from the other seasons. So that's why I didn't like take too much from it because I was like, "Oh, okay, that's cool. That's a little low key tie into the rest. Cool." And then when they removed it, that's why I was like, "Really, these these." Tweens, Girl. teens, whatever, are just like, oh yeah, we can just you know, take this, erase this. Can and we talk about uh, the- Mrs. Rincon? What says? Up? What are y'all talking about? Is it a documentary? No, it is the show Black Mirror on Netflix. Can we talk uh, about the? I think it, what, what episode was it? Uh, well, I don't know. Just that was uh, Rachel, Jack, and Ashley too. I think is what it was called. Yeah, yeah, something like that. I think Three of them, yeah. pretty much it. Or they, she might have been because this was on forty seven, so this was about ten minutes ago. So I don't know if we were talking about that one or the one prior with the f- social media aspect. So yeah, that's, def- that's yeah. that answer for that. That's my answer. That's all I'll say about that. Right, that's it. But um, yeah, overall, it's short season. Two uh, two out of three ain't too bad. Yeah. You know? I just want to mention the bodyguard and the incompetence of that bodyguard. Yeah, yeah really, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Right, two <laughs> girls that are literally like the age, like the demographic for yeah. Miley Cyrus, or, or what her name was, Ch- Ashley O. Like, yeah, Ashley you, these o. have to be fans wearing like rat Terminator suit. <laughs> talking about you got a call for mouse. <laughs> We're here to do this <laughs> termination. So ridiculous in a, in a clearly brand new house. Yeah, like, and then he's like, uh, yeah, no, go ahead, go to his bathroom by yourself. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, and, and that would have been more house. believable if she would have just. Right then and there, at the door, hit him with the mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I've been like, all right, cool. Because I felt the same way. I'm like, are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> so, like, the only thing I can think of is they're obviously fans, dude. Right. Like, you're a bodyguard for a big pop star, and you can't put yeah. that together. Whatever. Yeah. No. It, was just, <laughs> it was so much. Worst so many, security ever. So many things like that happening over and over again in the episode where you're just like, golly, man. 
That's right. Golly jeepers. Golly jeepers. Yeah. So yeah, that was Black Mirror in season five. I I mean I enjoyed it for what it was, but two out of three. Can't say all the episodes were great. Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, you know, watch the new Twilight Zone. Yeah, I heard that. Was That's good. really good. I gotta see yeah. it. Man. I think they just basically took all the writers from this show and just put them over there. Wow. Because it's the same, it's the same show. They even use the same actors. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because Franklin from that second episode was in one with uh, Angela Bassett. Oh. It's a really. I'm telling you, Twilight Zone is really good. And I don't know what Peel Peel is. It's, it's Peel, right? Uh, yeah. Or right? Key. Which one is it? Which one is the it's one? Peel. That, Peel? Peel. It's Peel. Jordan yeah. Peel. I don't know if he's the one that does it or if it's somebody else, but they subliminally play six 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 in every episode. For real? Yeah. Hand to God. I saw it in the first one and I was like, oh. And then I saw in the second one, I'm like, interesting. And then I started kind of looking for it and found it every single episode. That's uh, whether it be a uh, license plate where they it's, it's all numerology, so you got to add, subtract, and do that. Oh, but every single oh, one. oh, oh every yeah. single one. hat moment. No, it's every <laughs> single one. Trust me, <laughs> it's like trust. That's me. how they put it out there because it's <clears throat> it's all numerology. Yeah, they're trying to You're, those damn satanists. Yeah, this, hey, I'm just saying, man. Just saying, it's like once is okay, twice is coincidence. Not but three. Jordan Peele's a Six comedian. Times. He's probably like, let's try to piss off some religious folk. I'm, and that's really? another thing I'm going to touch on. <laughs> I'm going to touch on that when we do the videos so, for YouTube. Well, did you see the clip of uh, the weekend performing? And it says Satan on the screen. It flashes at one point. It actually, blatantly says Satan. <laughs> it, yeah, the weekend. Seen that. Yeah, yeah, dude. No, man. I'll, you know, entertainment industry, man. Don't act like you don't know what we're talking. I'm about. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the weekend. Wait, yeah, I'm dude. curious now. The weekend. No, no, but I mean, about the music Satan, industry. Satan, Satan, yeah, Satan, no, Satan. music industry is ran by Satanists, dude. For real? Well, I'll be damned. But which ones? That rabbit hole goes deep. The ones that make the most. <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty much. Like, pretty much. This all is what I want to talk about now. Pretty much ones that make the most money. But I'm saying, which ones though? Because isn't there like the ones that are like you know, I'll be cool. Uh, Jimmy Iovine is one of the biggest ones. Whoa. Yep. Satan, Jimmy. Satan. Satan. And Satan. it sucks because Jimmy's such a fucking dope guy. But yeah. He's also a Satanist. Yeah. yeah. So but is Sammy Davis Jr. All of them were, man. Mm-hmm. They all, you know, they, they, they made that deal, man. <laughs> Jay-Z, all of them. <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> Don't ruin this. Yeah, oh, God. This love affair I have with the music industry. Right. Yeah, <laughs> it's all going down the shitter <laughs> now. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. You can see it in all, the, in all the videos and all that. They don't, they, they don't hide that shit no more. That's why it was funny, because I noticed it off bat when I was watching Twilight Zone. I was like, oh, this is interesting. Do you think maybe they're just throwing that in there to kind of any publicity is good publicity, right? Kind of thing. Like you throw Satan up on the screen, it's going to get people talking. Yeah. Look at Trump; he's a president. Exactly. He did it because he put himself in the news over and over again, not necessarily because he's the most. Could qualified. be a little bit of that, but also yeah. they like to, they like to give props it. where it's due. You know what I'm saying? Satan, 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 Satan. <laughs> Satan. It's crazy, dude. Nah. Like I noticed it, and now it's, now it's like I see it all the time. When I, I just want to see the evidence now, right? I want to see it. I we could go. I, we'll watch a few of the episodes. We can. We can. Skip, I'm down, skim dude. through them. All right. Well, Twilight Zone is a really good series. Um. Yeah, it's about that time. So, do y'all have any uh, anything you want to recommend? Anything you want to bring to the table? So, show movie. So Robert Pattinson's Batman. Yeah, oh, I know, okay. and I want look. And, I wanted to get into that. Look, There's no easy way to. We only have like an hour. <laughs> hey, and that's like a half hour He's by like, itself. I'm not gonna spit that's on what it. I'm saying. Look, I'm yeah. just gonna put it right in. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm with you. Like bro, I'm with you, bro. I, I've never seen his shit. I was like, when I read the news, I read it and I went, yes. Yeah. I personally was, and I'm still stoked. You go online, and I, th- I thought it was gonna happen because he's a Twilight guy. Hmm. But you go online, it was just. Endless hate. I yeah, mean, like, of course. there wasn't a shred of positivity. I'm like, mm. what is happening right now? Like, it's like nobody cared to watch anything other than Twilight. Yeah, he's dude. So basically, what I'm trying to get at because time short. Yeah. Uh, good times on Amazon Prime Video. Okay. Watch that. Tell me that dude ain't a good actor. Okay. And High Life just came out on VOD, which okay. is more of a sci-fi thing. He's in space. That's all you really need to know. Okay. More <laughs> more artsy fartsy kind of film, right. but you know it's on VOD at the moment, so you could probably pirate it. Pretty good quality at the moment. All right. Okay. So definitely check out some Pattinson, some, some Pattinson that's not Twilight. That's not Twilight. Okay. Like, and you will. <laughs> I think you'll be sold, man. He shows some crazy, well, especially in Good Time. You can see there's a, there's crazy in his eyes, and mm. there's like he's and he's actually. I think he's a. I'm saying great actor. 
I think he's a great actor. Oh, I think I think he's elite. Man. Well, and and I agree with you to to where I I was on the train when when Heath Ledger got cast as a Joker. I was on the train, and that's the thing too. Man. I was like, what the fuck? Everybody's <laughs> like, he's not jacked enough. It's like, dude, did y'all not watch Batman '89? Right, and Returns, like Michael Keaton. You think he's jacked? Yeah, like what? So I'll, I'll hold my, I'll reserve my. You want to get nuts? It's just always. <laughs> Let's something. get nuts. He was Mr. Mom, y'all. Right. Like I just spoken to the mic for that. He was Mr. Mom. <laughs> so you got anything? It's still you want gonna to be print? better than uh, George Clooney's Batman. True story. What's funny and is, Val Kilmer. What's funny is Val Kilmer and George Clooney. Everybody was like, "Yes, that's no, great casting." And that was awful. And they're both. But I think I that attributed the to the doubt. writing too. Yeah, but Michael Keaton, no one liked. It was awesome. Mm. Christian True Bale, story. people were lukewarm about. It, I thought. But yeah, and they, he they liked it, it. They liked it a lot. Yeah. I liked it a lot. Yeah, we yeah, all did. You, you saw American Psycho. You're like, they're taking this in a dark direction, That's right? Nice. Well, then he that was right before or after the Machinist. Forgot which one, which order it went. The uh, American Bale. Psycho. No, Bale. He did. He went. He did the Machinist, and I think he went to Batman or vice versa. Oh, Machinist was before Batman for sure. Yeah, like yeah. Just, that was like a good movie too. Fucking a hundred pounds. What? Like oh, maybe you ate an apple a day. Yeah. Fucking ridiculous! Apple, they told him. They told him not to. They, they were like, "You're gonna kill yourself, man. You gotta like mm. eat something." He was like, "Not until the movie's over, or not until I'm done shooting." Yeah, it was fucking crazy. It's like you could have died, man. Fucking ridiculous! And you see it on the you see it on the screen. It's like mm. it's uh, you'll throw almost like when I first saw it, it made me sick. I'm like, damn, man. Yeah, I had a buddy that actually looked like that too. But anyways, Oops. Chuck, you got anything to bring to the table? For Switch, uh, I would mm. say Celeste. That's what I've yeah. been playing a lot lately. Yeah, you recommend that? If you're into a good platformer that's uh, ridiculously hard, but mm. you know, satisfying once you finally beat the screen, yeah. Feels definitely fucking recommend that good. One. It's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. All right. Anything else? Anything else? No? Nothing I can think All of, right. no. Um, I actually, uh, I, I will say um, Detective Pikachu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm bringing that to the table because it was actually surprisingly fun and good and right. entertaining. And the little Easter eggs and the little throwbacks and, uh, you know, head nods just it was actually surprisingly a good movie. And it makes me think, wow, like there could be some honestly decent Pokemon movies in the future. Like it's weird saying that as a fucking adult, but it's like, yo, it's a little bit of the childhood brought into now and they look good. Like they looked actually like how you would think like charizard fucking dope yeah dude all the pokemon look dope yeah like i was like yo i i would i want can i go to this world can yeah. i can i narrow in in this bitch it like, would have been the same if it wasn't ryan reynolds though well and this thing is if you haven't you, you, you gotta watch it yeah don't because there's a reason eventually. there's a reason it's all good it's wonderful i was like yo because I was a lot of time I'm like why did they not change his voice like what the fuck well i know that they that's can't what i understand him about. Right, I've but seen that in the preview, at least. yeah, but the, his voice—the reason why they don't change his like, you know, oh, like pitches pitch it, or anything—it yeah. there's a reason, and it's good, mm-hmm. and I loved it. I was like, all right, this is a this is, and they went with the corny detective vibe, so I'll give yeah. them that, you know. So th- that's my thing, Serge. You got anything you want to bring? Uh, no, pretty much Twilight Zone. Um, is that on check Hulu? that out? I got Fire Stick. I don't know what it's on, dude. Oh, okay. oh CBS. <laughs> CBS is what it's on. Okay. And uh, what else? Because I saw something else that was good. Uh, what movie? Oh, her the movie. Oh, Joaquin, oh, Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, with Joaquin. Who's gonna be Joker? By the way, that bringing it back. Shit. Yeah, it was a good movie. Dude, Joaquin Phoenix. That's my favorite working actor. Yeah, yeah, he is solid. Yeah, and sounds of Scarlett Johansson on that one too. Yeah. Oh, she was great. Yeah. Yeah. Even as just a voice. All right, y'all. Well, I want to thank y'all. Um, we do like catchphrases things on blend sessions, but I'm gonna leave that on blend sessions. I'm just gonna thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, please follow Flow Ohio Radio. Um, I want to thank my co-hosts here, Mr. Chuck, Mr. Big Red. Thank Appreciate you. y'all for coming in the inaugural roll, roll, roll episode <laughs> of The Fool and Friends. Glad to be here. Y'all be got any? Too. You want got, got any closeouts? I mean, anything? Mm, shout out to Thug Mansion. We mentioned him earlier. Hell yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Thug Mansion. Chuck, any, any shout outs? I'm on the spot. I can't think of a thing. No? All right. That's why I did it. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. Thank y'all again. Um, we'll be back again. Uh, stay tuned. Check out the Facebook page. Uh, there is one that exists. I'm sure you can find it. Hopefully now. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. Sure. But uh, keep uh, an eye out for the next what's episode. What's the call? What's the Facebook page? The Fool and Friends. <clears throat> 
The Fool and Friends. That's what you're going to find, hopefully, for the love of God. Uh, but thank you all again. Serge, take us out. Give us something. I got you. All right. Bye. Thank you guys. Thank you guys.